What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D-Free. Here today we'll be showing off the Beerus in Monaka's costume once again. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit the subscribe if you're new. I wanted to do this one last time before it made its way over to JP. It should be coming out tomorrow, the day after. Regardless, coming out soon on the Japanese version of the game. So, first things first. This unit is a free-to-play unit entirely. Uh, we go through and we look at the leader skill. ROU7, Category 3, Key, and 50%. Look at the pa uh, the uh, excuse me the super attack mechanic before we get to the passive. Sacrifices 7% HP and does supreme damage to the enemy. So naturally, sacrificial mechanics aren't that great, but they're actually really, really good for a couple of different things. Like, for example, theoretically, it will be good alongside the LR in the top left corner uh, because they want to have a specific amount of HP in order to get their active skill. Other than that, it's good for characters that need less HP thresholds to get certain bonuses, right? Whether it's the unit themselves that does it or another unit on their team, whatever the case is. So for example, I could and might, now that I think about it, put on uh, Kaioken Goku just to, to take a little bit more HP damage. So anyways, attack plus 77% for four turns after receiving an attack. Raises attack by up to 77%. The less HP remaining, the greater the stat boost. Also, on a side note, this is another character that is able to get a multitude of bonuses. He does not just get 77 plus 77, if you're wondering. In the meantime, let me go ahead and grab the uh, <laughs> the Kaioken Goku, because that actually doesn't sound too, too bad. So wherever he's at, he can make his way on the team. Bruh, bruh, where are you at? What, am I crazy? Hello? What the? Do I have him, like, reverse or something? Oh, um, he's in ROU7, duh. I'm like, wait, what? Where, <laughs> where is this man at? There you go. I was like, do I have him reverse? Like, wait, what's happening? We're going to put him on because he also does that same exact thing. But like I was saying, right, um, this unit, this. I believe, maxes out at a 213% uh, attack increase. Now, the reason why is because the game has a lot of math on a lot of different things. A lot of you guys probably know this. you probably seen calculations or some other things implying or stating that units obviously get more than uh, what they actually state on the card because of the way that the game calculates the numbers and the math, ultimately it changes. So this unit actually has a lot of attack increases. If you want to find out about that a little more, I'll leave the, the link to the wiki down below for the exact specifics on what they're saying there. But anyways, that being said, we're going to go all the way through. We're going to go up against Freezezma. So one thing I want to try to do is, again, get lower on HP and, uh, oh, Frieza versus Frieza. Imagine that. And, uh, and see what we can do. So, awesome, we do have him alongside Beerus. You might have already noticed, but let me kind of explain something. So, <laughs> look at their defensive stats. They're almost identical, literally, the top two units. So, for the for the purpose of the video, I'm going to call this just Monaka. It is so much easier. So, I'm just going to call it Monaka. So, on the team, one link with Beerus, it gets the top two links, it picks up Shocking Speed, and it picks up Connoisseur. So, very good. Other than that, more than meets the eye is a whopping 300 attack, by the way. Not not going to get that in this video. <laughs> it's 300 attack. Links like that should at least be updated. It's been like over a year since we've had our last link updates. So hopefully they do uh, stuff like that, where they change links to percentage base, whatever the case is. Uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see the most. Saiyan Warrior Race is a good one. Uh, Legendary Power, I think, is the one that really needs it. If Legendary Power changed, it, that, that could be a really big game changer. Anyways, moving on. Infighter and Shattering the Limit are the other two he's not going to get. Infighter is actually a really good link. Um, now, I actually am using some tech units on this team. I could have used the tech Gohan here and his Awakening or whatever the case is. If I really wanted to get Infighter, it was possible. But what I would have wanted to do was use it on a support unit. And the only one really, long story short, that's applicable to is Pandel there. And I wasn't going to run Pandel outside of category, outside of team, basically, to try to get that. But other than that, last thing I want to mention is Beerus. So the actual Beerus card, the other Beerus card, his EZA obviously has come to global. I need more Extreme Z keys because apparently I entirely missed that. I entirely missed that event. And uh, I did not have enough keys. So that being said, he's like level 130 or whatever. He's like, I'm like on level 25 of the event. So it's like, it's not like I'm, I'm struggling, obviously. I just, I don't have the time or the, I don't have not even the time, the ability to run the event. So I would love to be able to run it and finish him off. But unfortunately I can't because I guess at some point I missed that event. Anyways, we're up against STR Frieza. On a side note, Beerus had a million attacks. That is really good. 
any free-to-play card that can get over one million is really, really good. So otherwise, Beerus is on a very uh, well. Monaka, you get my point. The the free-to-play unit we're showing off is on a very good team because of the fact that this is a 177% team. It's not very common. So very good. Obviously, the only categories he has is this and the uh, Realm of Gods category, which is good. It's it's really good, but. This one is obviously one where he can peak a little bit higher. Do me a favor and take a shot every time I say obviously in this video. We're going to go there. I'm going to try to avoid same color orbs a bit because I don't want to heal too much from them. In fact, I would love to uh, take a super attack. Thank you. It's not going to do too much, but just want to take as much little chip damage as possible. Actually, 83 is more than I thought, so I will take. We'll take big time. All right, so we're going to come through with that. Hopefully, they do not beat it, so uh, the Goku can super as well. And, okay, cool. Perfect. So Goku's going to do some damage here. Not a whole lot because my boy does need an easy A. I mean, he did a million on a crit. What type of advantage? But, I mean, it's not a thing. Stack, but I like to point it out. But, you know what I'm saying? He did a million on a crit. 830,000 attack or so. Uh, okay, so this time we have some defensive support. Dun, dun, dun. Um, freeze attacks one time in the second spot. I feel like I could trust Monaka in the front spot. And if Beerus gets supered, then so be it. I feel like that's I feel like that's fair. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna go with this, and we will go right there. Yeah, if Beerus gets super, that's not bad. I don't really mind that. I do not mind. So one million, I still need to get lower. I need to get lower. But uh, being over one million is good. <laughs> it's really good overall. I think it's a little bit low. Ooh, a super. That's great actually, because he has type advantage. I think it's a little bit lower than it was previously because I believe we had uh, the Gohan on support last time. So a little bit lower than it would have been, which if you don't notice that we had a support, it didn't make much sense, right? But it's a thing. So we take 21k there. This should actually beat him. Uh, let's see how this works. This might beat him. Okay, it does definitely beat him. We move on to the final phase. I'm going to play this one a little bit loosely because, again, I want to take some more damage. What I will do is I'm going to just use the Whis. I want to take a super attack. So I'm going to use the Whis um, and, and try to, again, force the opponent to to do some good damage to me, but also not lose. <laughs> so Kaioken obviously is still going to do. Hey, you guys are you guys getting having a pretty good night, man, because I keep saying it. Uh, it's, I guess it's just the word of this video, right? Sometimes there are things like that. So, yeah, anyways. The uh, Kaioken is going to uh, dip us a little bit more. We do inflict attack down status. I didn't know that that was actually applicable on this event because I have played some in a really long time. He will super, but with attack down and item, I don't think this does anything. Oh, okay. Okay, 60k. Oh, that's that, that's perfect. We're about like 25% after this attack. That's great. I'll take it. I will take it. About 25%. All right, Gohan is going to come through. Every time I've said today, by the way, in videos recorded, that it's not going to do anything, I have been dead wrong every time today. Oh, I forgot this was a thing. Oh, I forgot this was a thing. Good thing is it's not going to do much. I forgot this was a thing entirely. This is not, this unit is not conducive to running with the Beerus and Monaka because of this. I entirely forgot this existed. But again, it's not going to do much. It shouldn't do much. <laughs> He's not fully easy aid, so. You know, there is not much merit to running units that aren't fully easy aid, but the main difference is uh, you still benefit from the increased level, which means increased stats, of course, and uh, the partially <laughs> completed upgrades to super attack. Like, I think he's level 13, for example, or maxes out at level 13 anyway. So, like, that does help, right? You do benefit, but it's not as profound until the passive gets updated, of course. So, for this one, we're going to put you in the back. We'll come over here. I think I think this is a turn where I use the heal off. Because that uh, Beerus transformation also kind of wasted what I had left. Now, this is a good turn because Monaka's going to get hit before he gets a chance to uh, attack back. Now, this also is kind of annoying, though, because we haven't had the opportunity to get this exact setup with that HP and stuff and also get a support we haven't had a support so the attack did go up there 1.29 basically 1.3 if we round up that's a really good attack stat i'm actually quite impressed and 1.4 million yeah this is gonna ko we're not gonna get a chance to see him with support we're gonna run uh we'll run i think we'll run bardock ss3 because that should be easy quick and stuff like that i don't want to 
I don't want to take like another like 15 minutes or something. So I think we'll run that really quick. In fact, we'll run uh, we'll run Vegito. We'll run LR Vegito because he's in all the way through. Don't have to deal with any wonky type disadvantage for Beerus and Monaka's costume. So moving on, let's go back and uh, see what we can do there. So all together, man, like I, honestly, I was actually quite impressed. I really am. Like I, I, it's been a while since I've seen this unit. I know some of you guys probably have been using this unit all along and use them to great success, right? So you've been very, very good off and well off with the unit, and you obviously are like, oh, well, but there you go again. Oh, well, yeah, this unit is awesome. I've been using them all along. This is my my, my leader, and I take, you know, uh, a, uh, what's it called? Goku and Frieza friend or whatever the case is, right? Something wonky like that that works for you. But for me, I haven't had the reason <laughs> to run the unit in a long time. This should be Vegito, right? Um, I don't know why it's loading so slow. I'm pretty sure it's Vegito. I am pretty positive this is Vegito. This is definitely Vegito. Game. Thank you. I'm like, I'm pretty positive, but I don't want to go in and have it be Gogeta. All right. I almost took the Sone Stale, and that would have been all bad because it would have kicked me out. So we're going to get this guy, and we will enter right. Let's do the this. arena. All right. So we're going to walk our way all the way through to Vegito. Ultimately, though, one thing I do want to point out is among free-to-play units, I think, you know, one thing that's cool about him on a side note is Global got this six months in advance. How does it, like, it, how does it feel <laughs> to get something on the JP timeline, you know? You get something so much earlier that it's like, oh, that's old news. We've already had that, right? That's kind of just what it feels like, you know, because I love Global. I obviously spend money over here. I love this version of the game. But I can't deny that half the time it just feels like it's retreaded content because I've already experienced all the new banners, right? That's why I love Global First stuff. I love um, Global releases and stuff. But how does it feel? I mean, just for once, just for that small moment. And it's going to be the same thing whenever JP eventually gets those SS3 Vegetas or whatever else. Really, the things that have the best chance of staying Global specific, I guess, for a while are those World Tournament rewards and stuff. But man, how does it feel? to win for once. <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually going to float out uh, the Goku and Frieza. We'll go with that. Uh, yeah, I, I actually should have put Gohan in the front to take some damage. Um, the reason why I, I set this up the way I did is, for one, I don't want them to solo. I'd like to take damage early on. But um, I also... Thank you. This is why I should have put Gohan in the front, though, because he's only getting the 90% or so leader boost, not the 170. Actually, you know what? Beerus is only getting the 90 Actually, now that I think about it, Beerus isn't getting ROU7, so that's actually good, too. It doesn't really matter too much. Gohan would have still took a little more, I imagine, but it doesn't really matter too much. All right, so we're going to kick off Android 17. We'll go there, and we will allow for an attack there. And last little bit is the Android 17 can't attack in the last spot. So as we proceed here, hopefully we do get... Um, another super but i don't think he would super back to back anyway to be fair i just don't want them to beat it because i want uh pause. i want the uh kaioken goku to super of course i knew i should have put kaioken goku in the front spot i really considered it i really considered it okay well we have a good setup anyway so we're at uh what 10 20 30 we're at about 70 or so percent we have support for this setup too so that's going to help out quite a bit so we're going to go with those and uh, we'll come up here for Beerus to get those. And Gohan, it doesn't really matter much what you do. I just got to make sure that we don't lose, basically. I'm going to play very loosely. Again, I'm going to avoid trying to get uh, Super Attack. So 1.27. All right, same color orbs, excuse me. And then get Super Attack. I don't want to get too many Super Attacks on me. <laughs> you know, in unfavorable positions. I don't want to lose, right? So, like, right here, I wouldn't have minded that. I kind of don't want him to Super here. Thank you, please. See, like, he's doing 42 on normal hits. Like, I kind of don't want him to super right there. <laughs> so, thank you for not. On a side note, can you be attacked down? If you can, I'm going to go for it. Um, I don't know if... I'm going to take away your supers, because if you super me, I, I feel like you do, like, 160 or so. I feel like that would honestly beat me. Oh, great. Another scenario where I should have put Kyle Ken in the front. Okay, I don't really, I mean, if they don't crit, then I don't think they beat this, so that's fine. Uh, nice little 3,000 damage, you know what I'm saying? Nice little 3,000, we'll take it. I'll live with that, that's cool. Every little bit counts, every little bit counts. All right, so 
All we need is Tech Vegito off. Man, can you guys stop? Since I took Tech Vegito off, my support is a once every few turns type deal. So I have to kind of line it up a little better again going forward. What I'm going to do here is use the Whis. At least you guys are getting to see his natural attack stat. <laughs> so we're going to do the Whis. And then from here, uh, we're just going to try to postpone basically one more time around for the uh, Gohan to come back and try to make sure we're low on HP, we're attack stacked and everything. So one thing that's for sure, whether it's support or not, <laughs> high HP, medium HP, this unit resides above 1 million on this team, 1 million this Beerus, basically. That's really consistent, and that's really good. He is consistently better than pre-EZA Beerus, because <laughs> Beerus' attack stats are horrendous. Horrendous, getting all the same links. Horrendous. All right, moving on. At least, again, I, I got to give Beerus some respect because the leader skill disparity, but still. Oh, hey, thanks for critting. That's exactly what I needed, not... I don't think I can postpone for another three turns. I don't think I can do it. I'm pretty sure I probably can't. Not at this rate. I don't think we can do it. I think I, <laughs> I think I low key lose here if I don't like go ahead and do this because he'll like. Oh, it can't be used. That's great. Really? <laughs> oh man. Okay then. Well, I guess I'll use this. I don't think I can postpone three turns, guys. I don't think I can postpone. I should have took MVP 17 off for Kaioken. And left Tech Vegito so I can keep that support. I acted just a little bit too hastily. Uh, oh, a crit, great. Because they're literally critting on every single attack they do. All right, so he's supering in the front here. How much? How much? 18, okay. I didn't expect much, but I expect more than 18. Like, I expect maybe 10K or something. I know 18. Man, they're all supering now. <laughs> they're all literally trying to sabotage this. They do not want this event to go longer. I said myself, for the record, I didn't want this to go long, but I kind of need it to because I want the Beerus to get support. But I can't even force it to happen. Also, Connoisseur is its constantly screwing me because it's healing me too much. We're going to go with that. It's not, I mean, like, imagine, like, being upset that you're getting healed via Link. Couldn't be me, right? <laughs> All right, so where are you at now? Yeah, 1.2 seems to be about where this unit hides, resides. I imagine that uh, if, if I, yeah, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get that. There's no way I can postpone another two times. Not at this rate. They're just, yeah, it's not possible. So I imagine if I had a support, they'd be over 1.5, 1.6 area with this HP threshold. And if we got any lower, they'd definitely be 1.5, 1.6. Literally every attack, including normals, is crits. Why? Yeah, so about 1.6 is what I'll say. Even though you can't see it, just take my word for it. Thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Final thoughts are this card is impressive. It's a very good free-to-play card, 100% worth owning. Do keep in mind that the one drawback to this card is it doesn't have any sort of defense. So it's not going to be super great on modes that require defense. So keep that in mind. Have an awesome day, everyone, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.